Hello YouTube, my name is the Gaming Pigs 187, and this is Friday Fight Night 12. We are playing WWE 12 in a 10-man Royal Rumble match. Basically, all I'm going to do here is just pick my guy and then pick CM Punk. And leave it, just let 10 random uh, wrestlers pop up and go with that. And I haven't done this last month because I've been either out of town or extremely busy and I and I probably should do this earlier in the week, but I don't and yeah. And now it is time for the Royal Rumble Match. Now in this match, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars are in the ring. Now the only way to be eliminated is to be thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last man in the ring will be declared the winner of the Royal Rumble and will advance to the main event of Wrestlemania. See, I probably should have been recording these earlier in the week and upload them Friday, but I don't. So here we go. Wrestler number one is Edge. WrestleMania 16 Edge, D the, one of the DLCs. Like I said, I just did random. I just didn't bother mess with them because I don't think I could pull up 10 guys that have a higher stat level than CM Punk. So it kind of doesn't really matter anyway because you can get double teamed and even triple teamed to try and get eliminated. So it's a little tricky to do that. Oh shit. Edge versus Christian to start this thing off. So I gotta lay out because those entrances are freaking awesome. Okay, where the hell was I? But yeah, it's first time I'm doing this in a month. May has just been just nuts for me, and as like I've been completely wrapped up in Call of Duty, and I've put almost 125 hours into that online. Yeah, I'm becoming a Call of Duty addict. But it's an addiction going. worth having because it is fun. But I'm hoping to get the Tony Hawk review up this weekend. Of course, I've been saying that for a while and I haven't done it. You know, six seconds and who's coming in? I'd say stay out of the way as much as possible. Let your opponents do the work. Only expend energy when you know you can get an elimination or when you have to fight to stay in the ring. Mason Ryan. Also known as Brick Tista. <laughs> and look, I just said for random order order for Punk, so I didn't really keep it. Because I could have cheated and just have myself enter number 10. But it kind of didn't matter anyway, because I ended up entering, well, you'll see. Kind of hate Michael Cole. Now, 
If anyone's wondering, wondering, I don't know what happened to the tenth one I did. I might have actually deleted it when I went to delete uh, like a something, and I actually clicked on it, and I'll re-upload it though at a later date. What a match this is going to be! Go Vladimir Kozlov. Here we go, yet. Yeah. Edge, Christian, Mason, Ryan, and Vladimir Kozlov in right now. And of course, this is on Legend. This is on the hardest difficulty. Um, what else did I say? Oh, yeah, the uh, Users Podcast. We are recording tomorrow afternoon, I think around 5 ish my time. So we are finally getting to record and have an episode up soon. And I'm pretty jacked. I go double A Arn Anderson. So it's going to ca- caps out at six guys in the ring in this match. So when six guys did, no one else is going to enter until someone gets eliminated. Which sucks, but I guess if you ended up with 20 guys in the ring at the same time, it'd, it'd probably lag so bad you couldn't even play it. See right there, Kozlov and Edge double two. That's an example of like what you have to do. Big strategy: if you see someone trying to get an elimination, go try and help them out. Because the sooner you can get someone out of there, the better. Because if you can try and keep it to one on one, one on one on one situation like that, you're way better off than having to worry about five other guys in the ring at the same time that could just blindside you. Here we go, Sin Ka. Oh my god. This guy's debut is awesome when he fucked up the, uh... When he dove over the top rope, which looked sweet, but he tripped it up. He tripped up or something, and he... Like, whoever placed the trampoline didn't place it far enough away from the ring, I think, and he... And he kind of recovered a bit, but he could tell he got botched and Sin Cara made his debut. Speaking of botches, now I want to bring this up because this pissed me off. The whole storyline with a big a big show had gotten fired because he made fun of Joe Lawrence's voice. And Sunday he gets to the match and if anyone had, anyone had interfered, they would be fired. Now Big Show comes out looking like he's going to help Cena, and then as Cena has more nice up in the AA, or FU was what I'm going to call it, screw calling the attitude adjustment, it's the FU to me, he gets knocked out by Big Show and more nice wins the match. Okay. Next night on Raw. And I'm not getting the whole Michael Cole thing because we, I've already said what I want to say about him. But anyway, the next night, we find out that John Morinitis had apparently re-signed Big Show on Saturday. Which would mean he was a WWE superstar come the pay-per-view and technically should still get fired. Well, there goes Edge. Or Christian, I mean. Blah. But, if he was a... So, obviously, they completely fucked up there. So they realized their mistake after the whole goddamn thing trends on Twitter that they fucked up. <laughs> then they have Michael Cole say, oh no, he entered into a verbal agreement. Um, that still constitutes a contract, I think. So technically, he should still be fired. But apparently, I saw someone on Twitter, it was some hashtag, Otunga Law. Ugh. I hate David Otunga. 
just looks like I'm roided up. God, the guy's roided up like no tomorrow. He probably has roids in his coffee. He's a horrible wrestler. He's boring on the mic. He looks like... <laughs> didn't uh, I think CM Punk called him Carlton like on Monday night, which was hilarious. But yeah, WWE still can't keep their damn storyline straight. And I read somewhere that it wasn't more nice. Well, whoever wrote the script fucked up. Well, still, someone fucked up. Did they think that no one was going to see that little uh, issue that if anyone interfered in that match, they would be fired? And here we go with... Ooh, Kaw, this is Jay Briscoe. I got a bunch of crazy guys on here. I got like, both the Briscoes. I've got like Necro Butcher. I've got Jeff Hardy. I have... On top of the two I create Extreme Icon and Headhunter, I have like a bunch like Nigel McGuinness, some RH guys, AJ Styles, and TNA guys, and this is the only Craig guy in this. Like, I actually kind of went through it a few times because one of the calls I ended up getting was my one I actually used, and I get my I knew I was gonna get my ass kicked. I was trying to limit. I don't know I probably could have left it like that, but. I still had a pretty hard time with this. I probably would have lost. I mean, in my practice match, I lost. And boom. You see calls off walking off in the walk of shame. Mm, excuse me. Having to fight for his life again. It's almost time for the next competitor. And Michael Cole is still a tool. So I had to do that. This song is fucking epic. Who is just walking to the ring like a boss? Two, like two guys left after this, the ninth, the tenth entrance. And boom. Now. At this point, like, I know I'm in pretty good shape. I mean, entering near the, like, to the end of the match like this. And you can see here, I go immediately for the double team to try and get Briscoe out of here. And you can see it doesn't give you the... match to work with that and got it. Here we go. Six seconds to the next entrant, and... I don't even know really what to talk about anymore at this point. And because we're, I'm only halfway into the video, there's still another, well, actually about another 10 minutes left, roughly. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, one half of the Road Warriors. And that is Hawk. Oh, he's coming back in. Got the arm up. Okay, so let's see if talk. Um I guess I could talk a little bit of kinda of what I thought about um uh UFC one forty six. Um I'm not surprised every fight got finished. I am I mean, we're dealing with heavyweights here. And speaking of the UFC, I'm gonna do a Friday fight night next week of Undisputed Three. I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked, but I don't care. I'm not gonna do. I don't think I'll do Chael and Anderson again because I already did that. And got a couple. And here we go. Ted DiBiase under last. And uh, so I got a couple of dislikes on that first on that Chael Anderson video. Probably some pissed off Brazilians that don't like my pro uh, Chael rant, but whatever. I don't care. I want to see Anderson get beat. But so, okay. Well, yeah, oh yeah, Anderson, Arn Anderson have gotten eliminated at this point. Ooh, Edge almost got eliminated right there. But yeah, like you have seen this, uh, 146, good card. I mean, you had Bigfoot Silva get it was Edge, but Bigfoot Silva got completely just destroyed by Kane. That was nuts. And I mean, they showed they had the promo. They were going, well, well, they showed it. They had Vanderlei and Vitor set for 147 in Brazil, but then v, uh, Vitor hurt his hand. 
while of this uh, little he's coming back through the ropes the veteran road warrior gets a great counter like we get to last three and last two like that does that little cutscene it's pretty cool but yeah I mean yeah if he tore hurt his hands there's not gonna be fighting Vanderlei in on in a couple of weeks which is unfortunate I mean they couldn't ha they couldn't have Anderson in Brazil uh, as a jail in Brazil because the, the some logistics didn't work out they couldn't get a venue and just oh it was a mess so they moved it to Vegas and it's going to be a completely different environment, I think, for Chael and Anderson. Because I think if it was in Brazil, you know, Sonnen wouldn't have gotten booed out of the building. Now that we're in Vegas, he's, uh, it's Anderson who's going to get booed pretty heavy. So, yeah, like, I enjoyed 146. I mean, I kind of thought Frank Mir was going to win, but there's me. I can't pick a UFC main event to save my fucking life. So yeah, um, uh -oh. um, I guess tonight is uh, the uh, Ultimate uh, Fighter finale. I think I'm just gonna tape it because I'm gonna be doing a Lone Wolf off tonight in Call of Duty, and if I can get this uploaded by then, which I hope, I'm mean, once I finish recording, I'm gonna upload it right away. And so, um, comes up with a seasoned reversal. See, here at this point, I'm, I'm kind of trying to deal some damage, because I'm not going to get him eliminated unless I get a finisher built up. And I kind of forgot about this at this point, because I almost have one built up here. And I'm going to hit him with it. But you can see at this point, I'm kind of backing up and just trying to stay out of the way. And pick my shots. Because if you miscalculate one thing, you're done. If you get countered or trying to hit a finisher or... Let's see, Tibiasi knocked into the ropes, and then boom, trying to get the elimination here. You can see, like, the buttons coming up. You gotta keep pressing them as they pop up. And it's, like, it's a lot different, because I remember on 2011, you had it, it was a little longer, you had to press a mash a button as it was, the icon was on the screen. That's an accolade he'll enjoy. See, boom, I can suplex right here. Um, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just like running out of shit to talk about. I'm trying, I usually don't do them this long. Watch this. Boom! GTS, go to sleep. And look, he, oh, pulls me back into the power slam. Yeah. So. That fast enough. Um. Ah, uh, well, I guess I can just talk about like, future videos. I'm sorry, I'm just like right now like, things to talk about. Um, I'll try and put out reviews a lot more frequent than I have been. I've only got two up, and everything else has been Friday uh -oh. Fight Nights or commentaries. Um. I do plan on going through the whole Tony Hawk series. It's gonna not be all right away because I do have a few other games I want to go after. Um, I might start doing some Let's Plays, which would actually be pretty fun to do. But like, I know everyone like did Let's Plays of Mario, and, you know, like that kind of stuff. Incredible counter. Um. Diviasi hit the Dream Street on Hawk, and so right there I got boom, I got a little blow, but um, I definitely want to go look through some of the other games, like I really like, like some, maybe some lesser known, like people that I probably never heard of that were actually really good, I know I've got like this, this huge library of games to do I'm sorry to yawn there, so I'm just my mic. But, 
But I'm looking at my shelves. I got plenty of games I can review. I've kind of been doing some of the older stuff for now, but I do want to... I'm actually delving into Earthbound a little bit. I just got a ROM of it because I really can't shell out 100 bucks for the cartridge. <laughs> And watch this. Ooh, almost, I almost had Hawk right there. See right there, I hit Suplex on DiBiase. Oh, God. Yawn in here. Sorry about that. But. Like, I think I might go back and do like a. A little more of a modern review, to be honest. See, right here, we're trying to get him out. No! Oh, I'm like, oh man. It's so hard to get these guys out a lot of times. Unless you get a finisher built up, you're good, and get him into a position where you can hit it. And see, right there, he just skinned the cat, got back in. Now, here, I got a little nervous. See, I'm laying under the... I could have gotten... He could have went after me, tried to eliminate me, but he didn't. So that was fortunate. Watch this right here. Excuse me. Finisher. Immediate elimination. So here we go. The final two. Road Warrior Hawk versus CM Punk. Which one of these combatants will win? Um, but yeah, expect. Big move I kind of want to do some reviews on like the trilogy, like uh, the collection, the HD collections. I just don't know how. I kind of maybe break up like three mini reviews, or maybe just do full reviews of each game. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet, but. I do need to get back to the Jack and Daxter one. Um, I guess i would probably do an update on my summer backlog. I'm working on finishing Sonic 4 Episode 2. I'm really close to the end on that. I'm really close to finishing it, and then I can knock that one off my list. Um, I'm looking forward to the Tony Hawk HD collection. And that comes out sometime this month. I'm really pumped for that. I, can, I can't wait. Because, like, the first few, like, Tony Hawk games, I mean, they're absolute classics. One was, a uh, little mini review right here, one was pretty good. I mean, it, kind of going back, and I'll mention this in the review, like, going back, like, from playing, like, later games is a little tricky when you don't have all the, like, the spine transfers and the reverts and the manuals that you can do to, like, combos together, but, like, two blew it out of the water. I mean, 2 was absolutely amazing. And boom, finish! So yeah, I look forward to that review sometime this weekend. I still gotta finish writing the script. I've been, like I said, I've been too busy with Call of Duty and... Damn, punk! <laughs> Damn, who won the Rumble this year? Oh, Sheamus, that's right, it was kind of forgettable. Everyone thought Jericho was going to win, and then because, I guess Vince didn't want, kind of wanted to be unpredictable, he had Sheamus win. Just to go beat Brian in 18 seconds of WrestleMania, which was horse shit. Because they didn't get the match last year. They ended up in some dark match battle royale that Kali won. And then we get it this year, and it's an 18 second squash. I literally look, I was on a stream, and I'm looking, I uh, was playing a game or something, and then I look over, and I see, like, I'm like, what the fuck happened? And lo and behold, it was an 18 second, boom, shames hit the brogue kick, gone. Ugh. It was ridiculous. So, that's Friday, Fight Night 12. I'll up